We're delighted to be joined by John Bloomfield from Phil Motion, um, Global Business Development Manager, tucked away in the corner at Subsea Expo. John, how's it going? Do you know, it's uh, obviously our first exhibition of the year for 2022, but very, very successful. Uh, I think people generally are very keen to get out and to, to meet face to face once again, uh, rather than the medium of a, of a screen. Uh, it's nice to engage with you know potential clients, old and new, uh, and to touch base with some of the supply chain that we haven't actually seen face to face for a couple of years. But uh, you know, looking back to last year, it was a very busy year for Film Motion. Um, we've had a successful year. We increased our headcount by almost 100% uh, last year. Um, nobody was furloughed, and you know everything was um, very busy. To the point where we've invested in more equipment and bigger equipment, like what you see behind you. Um, so we've now invested in uh, a new head office, which is just around the corner from where we are now. It's still based in Ellen but it'll have uh, much bigger and better facilities to allow us to offer a more cost-effective service to our existing clients and, and new clients. So can I can I just stop you there and just ask you a little bit about this beast um, behind us? Um, so where, what, well, first of all, what is it and, and where is it being deployed? Okay, we've got two of this particular system. It's a Quasar, a 150 horsepower work class system. It's generally um, involved in some of the high profile jobs it's been is the Kincard into wind farm, uh, the installation work, uh, which we're very pleased to be involved with in such a high profile project. Uh, and everything went, went well. Uh, we've also had it at, uh, on a cable lay exercise where we connected the um, island of Crete to the mainland Greece. So that was quite a challenging um, and, and interesting project. There was some uh, deeper water um, work done there. It's a very powerful machine. Um, it's generally uh, used for construction work, uh, installation work. And then as you come down in size and to the slight smaller uh, observation class ROVs, we'd be uh, doing more um, IRM work, the maintenance work, um, some NDT, CP work, uh, that, that sort of thing. And then we come all the way down to the microsystems, which are generally used for that emergency eyes on situation where you just need to see what is exactly happening under the water. So we've got, you know, the two extremes behind us uh, <laughs> from the small to, to the large. Uh, and we feel now that we've expanded both our equipment and our, our personnel offering that we can manage any type of project. Uh, so it's it's an exciting place to be. Um, we're looking forward to getting into the new building. Also looking forward for everybody to be together once again, because um, we are at capacity uh, in the old building, and we we, we miss that that uh, that chat next yeah. to the coffee machine. It's invaluable. I under, I understand. I just great to hear so much positivity, and we're hearing that a lot at the moment. It's great to hear also that you're um, involved within the energy transition, deploying within those renewable projects. Um, I wish you a successful rest of the uh, rest of the three days. Thank you very much. Yes, it's been very good, and thank you very much for the opportunity. Thank you. Cheers.